today's episode of Moto Cheese. Maybe you can hire the M Team. The following movie is rated I. What's that little van coming up the driveway, Motor Rider? Way before the fame. Way before the fame. Oh, I didn't even notice you did your brakes too, huh? Oh, how's it going? Oh, you got power windows and power locks and everything? Crazy loaded. This is one of the best vans I've definitely ever seen. Holy cow. Power everything. Back then it does that. Mine has rear speakers. Oh, does? yeah, look at that. Oh, you got little pockets and everything. I want to tint my windows too. And that's your battery? That's where my battery is. Boy, these are pretty similar, huh? Mine's just got material. This is like that formed felt. Yeah, this is in good shape, huh? And it came a, black or no? Someone painted it black. What, the car? Yeah. Did it come black? Whoever did it did a good job if it was painted. Oh, yeah, you got a little bit too, huh? Yeah. Oh, here, look at that one. You got a little... My little backup camera. Yeah, your backup camera. You were thinking of getting rid of it. I saw one yeah, episode. Yeah, I it, it has to be something worth me selling it for. Because it's literally my daily driver. Oh. Uh, what are you looking at? Something turbo or supercharged? Uh, I would just want another fun K car. I don't really care what it is. What size tires are those? 165, 70s, yeah. I end up going with the 145s on that. but Because I wanted like a little bit of aggressive. But those aren't terrible. I mean, they're not bad. The van come with 13s? That's why it's bigger. What's yours, 12? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I didn't realize they came with 13s. 13s. And it's stock? Yeah. Oh, Maybe man. The stock Bravo rings. I like the driving stock? lights, too. Like, I don't mind that I don't have the glass. Like, this double sunroof that people have. Like this. A lot of people say that they're troublesome. Because most of the ones that I looked at that Amir had, had the glass sun, you know, whatever they call them. Yeah. Sunroof or whatever. They, power sunroof, I guess they call it. Yeah. They were kind of sticky and so you'd have to grease it up and you know they sat so long but he's trying to open it up and we're trying to push it back yeah. when i was doing a video you know but this one only had like forty-five thousand original kilometers when I got it. that's nuts nothing. and now it has 60 and like yeah I drive i'm telling you I drive what do you get for mileage did you ever terrible, figure it out terrible, terrible. seriously yeah really bad mine is dual overhead cam too so it's even worse than like yeah it's four valve dual over it's five valve it's five valve <laughs> It's fast. It's not fast, but it's pretty quick. Like, and it redlines at nine thousand. So, like, Holy shit! Yeah, no, you could definitely drive it too. I want to see what driving a turbo van is like. With all them options, it's yeah. got to be very rare. It has high low. It has high low. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. Does it have locker? No. Ah. <laughs> it's full-time four-wheel drive. Though. Yeah. You know what's weird with mine? It's got full-time four-wheel drive or it'll lock the transfer case, but it doesn't have like a low range. Uh, I've never seen anything like it, you know? It's the same lever you do. I've never seen another Bravo period with high-low. Power rear window. Yeah, that's nuts. This thing was like fully yeah, loaded. Yeah, that thing. Except they didn't pay for the grab bar on the other hand. Does it have does it have a keyhole on the other side? Yeah. The interior is in decent shape too, yeah. huh? Look how much you wore it out the floor. I know. <laughs> Man, I can't believe this thing came with 13s. I can't even find 13s for mine unless I go with no, Mazda right, rims. Sorry. Yeah. You can get them from Japan though. You don't want to go that route. I don't know. Maybe I will do that. The tires I bought actually were from Japan. They shipped from Japan. Oh, those really? tires. And I told the guy I was going to do a video on them, not not dedicated, but I said it's going to be in a video. So he's like, all right, cool, let me know. And then he got back to me, and I was like, if you could find 12-inch tires that are like 165s with like a mud snow, yeah. uh, you'd sell a ton of them over here. Yeah. So he's supposed to be looking into it. And he lives in Japan. He lives in Japan. He's a seller from Japan. Yeah. My rust is here. Yeah. I got there, there, and a little spot there. But the rest of it's like oh, this is nice spotless. Thing. Yeah, I put that in. This thing rolls so easy now. Like with the knobbies, it took a little bit because the bias would put a flat. I'm going to roll it out. My little yeah, camping no, I saw table. That video, yeah. <laughs> I 
Are you gonna drive it like, like far? I don't know. Probably not far, far, but. I want to drive mine to Montreal, honestly. Like Real, all the way up, yeah. Yeah. I get a couple guys in Canada that keep coaxing me to come up. Uh, I'm going for no reason, like by myself. <laughs> just because it's like it'd be cool to say like I drove it to another country. Battery, same spot. Yeah. This is just crank. Yeah. Yeah. 118,000 kilometers. I doubt yeah. if it's 18. Yeah. But I mean, looking at the pedals and the floor, it's like. The pedals are. And this, mine. look. Yeah. It's I mean, if the mine. seats are so. I doubt if it's 18. 18,000 so that's ridiculous like it's not even it's got to be 118 yeah. which is like 70,000 right yeah. and these tires normally by the time I hit a half a tank it's 120 mile 120 kilometers now I put these tires on I reset and filled up I got 110 what is it 100 and 108 kilometers and I only have like a quarter of a tank I used I was getting 24 miles a gallon I bet you I'll get over 30 now did you ever calculate yours? I, I'm going to calculate mine, but my thing is I just drive on the highway. Like right now, I, I didn't. I use maybe a quarter tank to come up. Yeah. Well, that's not bad. That's really good, pretty much. Cause Three gallons. Yeah. yeah. How many kilometers do you get on a tank? Do you know? Do you ever reset it? No, I never reset it. <laughs> I got this now too. <laughs> you know what that? Yeah. The theme Thank song. You. Yeah. I should have cut the beginning part off. There's a PA underneath. I put one underneath. <laughs> That's just like a little 100 watt amplifier. Yeah. And it's got an SD card for the music, so as soon as you turn it on, it starts the playing the SD. Yeah, it's pretty loud for what it is. It's one of those little pancake flat speakers. Yeah. I like the van. The only thing that sucks is, like I say, it's got four wheel drive, two wheel drive, but then when you click that, it just goes from all wheel drive to locked, you know, front and rear locked. What's up, mini truck? You think you ever sell this one? I doubt it. I work too much with this yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. I'll lift the dump up for you. I forgot all the things you this. I know, I did so much stuff, people are like, oh, you got too much electronics. I'm like, no. There's them horns, man. If someone asks about this, anyone ever put air horns on a uh, uh, K-truck? Let me let them pump up. How much power did you have this one when you bought it? Uh, this was 30, 32. I don't know. He said it was actual, but I don't know. I mean, nothing's worn out. Ready? Can hold your ears. <laughs> That's the thing when you have your van, right? That, no, that one actually is the three, it's got like a 180 front camera. Oh, really? And then one in the back. And then one under the seat. Oh, oh yeah, I saw that. Like, yeah. yeah. Like nah, I don't think I'll ever get rid of mini truck. I can't get rid of this because the reason I got it was for going to dump runs with you know bringing yeah. steel and and picking up stuff and then moving stuff and yeah. and now that I made it a dump I'd never get a, another truck without a dump because it's so handy yeah especially you see like I, I put the winch in the back so if it's something heavy yeah you just pull it right you up the winch in the front and the back. Wow. yeah I got a hitch in the front and the back so I mean this is like a Swiss army knife yeah. of Japan. It's a Japanese army knife. And like you, if you bought another truck you have to do it all over again. Yeah, or I'd buy it. I definitely would get lockers, I definitely would get a dump, and then I would have to do the rest. Yeah, and that, that front bumper's off of a uh, CJ7. They make a heavy one and a light one. I bought the light one. I think this weighed 60 pounds. Oh, okay. The dump stuff probably added another hundred and maybe one fifty tops. Oh, I didn't even realize you took out the back seat. Yeah, and I made this little platform. Look at this. Look what I got. Oh, I'm going oh. to make more of those, actually, with my van this time. My seats fold flat to camp, but my front seat go, would go flat, and then the back seat would go flat, but it just had too many humps in it. I laid on it. I was like, nah, I can't do it. Like, my seat does this. So it's like a little pocket. Yeah, same thing. The utility vans have little seats and they'll flip and go flat yeah. on all of the lower models. And yeah. I was like, man, I wonder... Like the Actis do it all the Yeah, Actis, Actis, Subarus have it. If I had a roll-up cot to go on top of it, because did you ever put them flat and try to lay on it and see what it felt like? On, on these. But like my seats turned or flat, flat? Flat, like you were going to camp in it. Uh, I think I would just either... I would probably have to do, lay this way or do it the like sleep sitting down like the other way like this. Mine, this goes flat, and this goes flat, and you can sleep across the whole oh, thing. Oh, so like this, you mean? 
Yeah, that's how you're supposed to do it. Oh, okay. And then, but like, look at the lump. Mine, yeah, yeah, yeah. mine didn't have that big of a lump, but when I laid on it, I was like, ooh. Or I thought you meant like the other way, like the pool, like that. But you're still too tall. <laughs> no, I could, I could sit there, and my feet don't dangle at all. You could lay on that. I and can't lay just because the seats don't go flat. But well, I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I like, could if sit like this though, like easily. I'm saying for camping wise. Or maybe not sleeping, but you can actually sit there and talk to people yeah, in the back. Yeah. That's yeah. a good idea. Like I can do this easily. Like, my oh yeah, my recliner. Even, like, touch that. like I don't know if I could sleep like this though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, if you had to, yeah, and you were tired to, going cross to, country. Yeah. I like that. Or even just that way, and I kind of put something here. Yeah. Well, if you, yeah, if yeah. you got a cot and then you put something on that yeah. end, you could definitely. Yeah. See same thing it's got oh yeah that and then the back like seat this is nice. yeah and the steering wheel came with that yeah but the back seat this goes to the back seat and then the back seat lays all the way flat too you don't think you're ever gonna put them back i don't know i saved I them a like, i got a company sending me a cooler to do a review oh, really? nice. it's, it's about twice the size of that almost as big as the one that's in my jeep like i can cruise at 100 kilometers for sure 120 i'm kind of like okay this is like Oh, I could, I, I would do an 80 on a highway. That's about it. I could probably, with the bigger tires, I could go faster. But if yeah. I'm doing 80, it's seven grand, and that's where it starts redlining. Oh, for I can't, like, for me to get a seven grand, it takes a lot. Like mine stops at 130. All right. Yeah. And what's the fastest you've gone? I've gone 130. Like I've maxed it out before. Did it have any more? Probably a little probably bit. Probably yeah. a little bit. Yeah. And what was and the? I still wasn't probably at like 7,000 on the RPM. But I can go through one through four and max out at like nine and just bang the gears. Um, you want to you want to drive it? We'll go. Uh, yeah, we can drive it. You got to turn a seat around for Chris. <laughs> this is gonna make freaking noise. See how it goes back. back. I'll let you drive it out. And oh, it's get not yours. that bad. Okay. Probably a lot of room. Yeah. I feel like it's definitely faster than mine so far. Yeah, like here, that's that's twelve pounds of boost right there. Oh, you have a boost gauge? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's smooth, right? Yeah, very. Like, this is like a normal car, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's got pretty good. That's that's fifth oh, gear. No, see, like right here, like I'm, I'm, like my van can't pull it. Like yours is still pulling, mine would not still be pulling right now. Oh no? Yeah. You feel a pull? Yeah, this is definitely faster than my van. probably cruise 70 pretty easily I just don't like revving it out way higher yeah. you know that's yeah, kind of seven. yeah I'll turn here and I'll even take it drive it back yeah like it's throwing me back in my seat like, well I'm not even really getting on my Bravo does not do that it's cool like to see like a turbo version of a cave in now you can experience the little bit of turbo lag it has You can get on it if you want. I feel like I'm already getting on it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, like, even just this little, like... Yeah, you, you feel can, you that? Can, you it can, sets yeah, you back. You can, you, can, you can, like, hear it, too. Like that. And you can hear the little... Yeah. Underneath the seat. It's a three-cylinder, right? Yep. 660 three-cylinder. And it's only two valve per cylinder. Wow. This would be better for longer drives. What's the furthest you drove it so far? Uh, probably... An hour? Torrington. Oh. oh, no, I went to Poughkeepsie. Probably an hour and a little. But even fifth gear's got good pull. You know yeah, what I mean? Like you don't I, even I'm have to downshift. Right, now, yeah. right? I mean, it still, like, kind of sets you back. Yeah, no, 100%. And it's very, like, kind of sniff in a way. I wonder if they did anything like suspension wise. It has a sway bar. Oh, nice, yeah. Which I've never seen on the front of these. Yeah, I don't doubt mine on the sway bar. But yeah, I mean, even fifth gear, I pull up the hills like nice and easy. Yeah, especially over here. I was going through so many hills having to downshift. I mean, the supercharger's nice, but after boosting the boost up on this, 
I like what's quicker this because I got 12 pounds of boost and it's handling oh, yeah. easy. I'll let you drive by right now. Five valve, do a little right. Wow, I oh, you got a dime there. Oh, oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Those are so wide 13 by like. They're Seven? 23 by 8. Oh, yeah. Not exactly. Maybe a little more than 8. And these are 7 inch rims. 12 by 7s. And they're DOT. You're getting some balonies on here, Chris. You see, they're only 7. They look like 6 and a half. So they're 6 and a half, yeah. yeah. They claim they're 8, but yes, like 6 and 3 quarter. Yeah. That on a stock rim on this, I think would be good. Look how tight that is. Oh, yeah. That's how the turbo version of this look. There's no room. No room. The intercooler is up front here. Never overheat after a little while? Never. This is the air intake. Yeah. This is the intercooler intake. And the intercooler is literally that big and about that fat. Yeah. Right under here. <laughs> Where's your radiator? Right under there. The radiator's here. Oh. There's a, uh, what do they call it? The, uh, no, it's for the air conditioner. The, con oh, the what do they call it? The condenser. Yeah. There's one there that's that big. And there's one underneath this door. There's one under this door that's about that big. It has two. That's I've never crazy. seen anything like it. I, I dread working on this thing. Oh yeah, you got a lot of room up here. Your dash feels like it's so Yeah, much. my dash is pushed in a lot. This is how mine sounds. Wow. Right. It's actually kind of loud, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that thing's like <laughs> whisper quiet. It has like a good note to it. And this is power steering? Yeah. Wow. Well, you'll see when you drive it. But, like, pretty smooth. Yeah, it rides nice. And I'm at fourth gear right now. I'm at 5,000. And, like, if I go into fifth, I think it drops, like, four. Yeah, yeah it's about the same as mine. Yeah. The thing I like about the ones that have the motor gear, is for, like, the sandbar I drove on before, it's way too, like, wobbly. There's too yeah, much weight in the Yeah, it rear. does feel funny. Yeah. The vans, anyway. I don't yeah, know. the vans, yeah. The, truck the trucks kind of, aren't too bad. Yeah, the trucks are cool, but the van was way too like it's already a bread box. Like a downshift. But like right now my foot's all the way down. Like look. Yeah. There's, there's no more there's no more push. Well it's, it's normally aspirated, yeah. you know. But like that's what I meant with your turbo when you were in fifth and it was still going, I was like, oh my god. Yeah, it just keeps pulling. Yeah. Like mine is like my foot's all the way down. It'll rev out, but it'll take a second. Right. Oh, you have a little armrest on your front seats, too. Yeah. I don't have that. You always got to get used to everybody's clutch. <laughs> you can rev it up way more than that. Yeah, I'll wait till we hit the road. My windshield's way smaller, right? Yeah. That's my one of my flaws on this car. It's very small. It's not bad, though. Uh, mine's so big, I kind of yeah. always put that dark strip anyway. I kind of like it, actually. Yeah. This is the power steering. Yeah, nice. Oh, this thing likes the RPMs, huh? I can't, I can't believe it goes to 9. I, and it goes to, it's not like, oh, does it really go to 9? No, it really goes to 9. Your temperature's real cool now. No, that's actually where it stays. You see that little line? Yeah. That's where it stays. That, that whole graph is not overheating. No, it's supposed to stay... I, I thought it was supposed to be in the middle too, but that little line is the middle for this car. I don't know why. Yeah, that that first line is usually when it's warmed up. Yeah, that, like where it is right now, that's warmed up. And then it'll just creepily go up if I just uh, if I start like going crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, like right there, I'd be red line. Yeah, like it's still. Yeah, this this cruise is nice. Yeah. I have no complaints about this. Like that's why I wouldn't mind driving it like to freaking California. Like it would take me a year, but it'd be a fun drive. A little turbo would be nice. Yeah, if this had a turbo, I think it like that's maybe the only thing I'm missing. But then it's more problems, so I really want I know. It. Just like with the roof, like do I really want it. I thought the same thing. I was like, man, do I really want a turbo or a supercharger? But yeah. Usually I mean most turbos you can get a hundred thousand out of them, you know, yeah. close. This one has so low miles that if it was turbo, it would be amazing. Oh, yeah. Because I did nothing to this van. All I've done was oil changes. Never did a timing belt, never did anything to this van. 
Yeah, I can see how you say the fifth gear kind of just. Yeah, you see, like. I'm so used to the supercharger and the turbo now, it's like. You have to sometimes downshift. Like, I was going up some of these hills and I was like, let me just downshift. Like, right. Well, because it likes the RPMs, yeah. too. It's probably designed for that since it's a five valve per cylinder. I know, I don't know how they fit that. They must be little like, dinky know, valves, like, huh? Because, I mean, the cylinders are only like that big. Yeah. Turkey. I had a bunch of them going down my driveway yesterday, man. And one of them were huge, big turkey. Really? The size of them turkeys. The thing's like literally two feet tall. I'm going through the screen, so yeah. Looked like it was three foot tall. I thought it was a dog at first. You gotta get a van next. He's yep. thinking about it. He was gonna sell his truck. You gotta get a van next. Turn around and get a lineup or picture or something. Know, yeah. It's like driving with a mirror. He comes so close. He's so used to these cars. You're like hanging onto the dashboard and he's like whipping in. Yeah. He's a driver, man. He knows these trucks like crazy. I love those too far. windows though. Yeah, man. That's. And yours is auto. Oh, man. And central locks. Auto up to? Yeah. Oh, that's unheard yeah, that's of. Such a lock. Like it makes life so much easier when I have uh, Which, passengers. Like where this, is it? So this. Oh, it does you all of them. You tell like your passengers like, oh, you gotta hold the handle to lock it. That's freaking awesome. Is my off? No nope. accessory. See, that's like the Suzuki. Yeah, this thing's nice. You got a steering lock? Oh yeah. Look what else I got. Tilt. Get out of here. Oh man, you got <laughs> this tilt. This is crazy, right? <laughs> He's got tilt wheel. Yeah. yeah this thing, that's what I'm saying, man. Whoever buys this is like, you gotta. This thing is loaded. Right. What do you think this is worth? Like 11, 12? This was 12 out of here. Was it 12? Yeah, 12,000. Well, that's what he said he was gonna get that. He was gonna sell that for like 12, 13, yeah. he says, because it's so rare like this. Yeah. The lineup for today. All right, man. All right, see you. Take it easy, man. Until next time. Definitely. <laughs> That's in good shape. Too bad it was crappy today. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products to use are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.